Hello there. Welcome to a tyke farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ding a ling. It's Tuesday morning, three men on site working on the piggery. I haven't seen the forecast for today, but it's a nice morning. I've no doubt we'll get a full day's work today. I got some feedback yesterday, that the video yesterday, half of it was made on my phone and then the second half was made on this phone with uh, this new speaker. And they did say that um, the audio was much better, I thought it was better. So hopefully I'll be making better videos. Well, I'll be making the same videos. <laughs> but, but you can maybe hear a bit better. So I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day. I'm going downtown next. Get one or two different bits and pieces. And um, I'll tack the other videos on tonight as usual. So I will speak to you later. A flurry of activity this morning. They've come to move the post. It took a while, but they're here now. So that'll be a big help. So we're digging the hole that's going there, obviously. I'll be pleased to see it move. We'll be able to get in and out much more easily in the delivery trucks with sand and gravel won't have to struggle. Lunch time. We've got a delivery of um, guttering. It's a very warm day today, but not so humid as it was this morning. And we're working away on the trusses. He's now going to put in the cross members. And there's just one truss left to do. So are we going there? So I'm going to put this camera down now and see if I can set them logs on fire. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Right, to make a concluding video, Workmen has just left 10 to 5. Uh, we got the f guttering and flashings. Um, there's still 12 pieces to come. But we won't need them for maybe a fortnight. Now, we've been working away. We're on the last truss now. He's done this one today and it's been braced and I think he braced that one today as well. And then he's on the last one here, he's half of it done. So we've got one and a half trusses again today plus the bracing. That's two men. That's Richie and Mungy have been working on that. Now I have noticed today we've got these lengths of bar which have been painted 
and we've quite a lot up there on the ground so I'm thinking he hasn't finished with the bracing he's braced the vertical one but I suspect he's going to brace down the side as well onto onto here piece going across the top and that's going to be braced up so there's a lot of metal going into this roof um, but you know the other night when we had that bad storm there's hell of a winds blowing and of course that's not a cyclone I've experienced 100 miles an hour wind in the past and you can lean into it and stand up but just barely but if you get to 120 mile an hour winds in a cyclone you've no chance of bloody standing up um, I've lit these logs again and we appear to be burning well uh, so I'm hoping they're going to keep going this one's burning well and this is a new one, this has not been lit before and then the little bit at the end is what's left of a, a log, there's not much left at all and that's burning well so hopefully they'll smoulder all night and burn tomorrow but they are like sponges when it's raining and wet it's a waste of time lighting them because they just go out But I get them shifted, then see what's left there, and there's three or four there, five, six, seven there. They'll all be gone before long. And there's two or three up that boundary fence as well. But if you look at the pictures when the trees were felled, by there were big trees. I mean, one one trunk went from there right over there to that more or less where that bush is one trunk massive bloody thing now wind's been working here by itself and he, he touched up some paintwork this morning and i got a pick from shoppy and he liked the look of it, so he gave it a, a trial run, I think. And he's got down to the bottom of that post. And all the dirt is thrown out here. And he shifted a fair bit of dirt. Which... So I'm going to be... I'm stood here on... Well, I'm a bit high, actually maybe 18 inch above the, where the floor will be and I would imagine the bottom of the post where it's been chipped out for some reason for reinforcing uh, that's where the dirt will fill up to so there's a lot of bloody dirt to move but there again I suppose if you do one day you dig out a square metre next day you dig out a square meter you get to the end of it soon enough but um if you dig in every day then it's it's uh it's a pain but the other two will be working on steel steel work for the next fortnight and we will open out as required um the guttering's next and the flashings and then oh sorry no the the cross pieces are next next the purlins then the guttering flashings and then the tin, tin sheets so it's probably three weeks before the digging in earnest for this dirt so I'll leave it there we'll conclude this video and I'll do it again tomorrow. The rain's held off, so we've had a full working day. So I'm quite happy about that.